Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos. I'm back with another quick case card class and using our Daisy Delight stamp set. Um, it's got a bit of a theme going on today. Loving, loving, loving these summery cards and you know, just showing lots of different ways to use a particular stamp set. I have done a few on the um, Daisy Delight and a couple on, you know, using the other kinds of daisies. So this is another one, super, super fast. So let me tell you what you'll be needing to make this card. So we're using Daisy Delight stamp set. We'll also be using the layering ovals framelits. You will be using Pear Pizzazz. Let's just move these out of the way, sorry. Our card stock is um, Pear Pizzazz and it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So let's just go ahead and do that now while I'm here. Now we're using a piece of designer series paper, which is the Delightful Daisy. And this is two by five and three eighths. You will need a piece of wisp of white for the inside, which is four and one eighths by five and three eighths. A strip of wisp of white, which is um, a quarter of an inch, sorry, half an inch. Um, and then we'll just cut that down, you'll see. So that's just a, a half an inch width there for our banner sentiment. And then a scrap piece of Whisper White um, to cut out your oval. So let's go ahead and do our stamping. We've got quite a few sort of stamps out here um, because there are lots of little bits to this card, but it's very easy, super fast. So I'm just going to move these back here so I can get in the shot. And so we're using the colours we're using. Um, I'm using Always Artichoke, Wisteria Wonder, Daffodil Delight, and Crushed Curry. So taking the Always Artichoke, and there are several stems in this stamp set, but we're using the kind of leafy stem. So we're going to ink up the whole stem for the first bit. Um, I'm going to take some scrap paper to go underneath and um, just want to do the whole stem like that now you will need your stamp and scrub and we're just going to go ahead and oops i'm going to do this off camera because i don't have that much room um just go ahead and clean the stamp and then what I do just to make sure I get it all of because we're only you're gonna be inking up part of this stem now is just stamp it a couple of times and then what I'm gonna do you'll see there's one two three four leaves here I'm just going to ink up down to the third leaf you'll see what I mean so just inking up the third leaf and then I'm going to line this up with that leaf there. And just that gives you another part there. So that's how I did that. And then while we have the um, always artichoke out, just going to get the sentiment stamp. I'm going to ink that up. And that is your thoughtfulness brighter my day. And just putting that on the end. I'm going to lose that now for a second. I'm just going to pop that down like that. So that's your sentiment done. And we can put that colour ink away. Bring in your scrap piece of paper again. And we're going to do delight, sorry, daffodil delight now. And taking the bolder image of the flower, stamp of the flower. We're just going to do two of those flower heads like that. And then the reason I use crush curry before the outline was just so that it stands out a little bit more. So just taking the crushed curry, we're just going to to the petals outlines in that and then oh, I didn't knew I had something to do with the um, we do need the oars off choke again I always forget so then we have these little stems here 
So we're just going to do this. I want this off the, make sure I bring that up, just off a little bit. Because when it was cut out on the oval, it comes around, but I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So we need to go down, sort of off the, down a little bit with those leaves. And then we have Wisteria Wonder for the, I'm presuming this is Lavender, which I just absolutely love. I'm going to do the lavender heads like that and then that's all of the stamping you're going to need to do then you need to take your I've used the largest oval from the layering ovals and we're going to cut that out now I have sort of done that a little bit see what I've done I have actually done that a bit too far up but never mind try and make sure that you have a little bit more of that well that's, it will still look okay but I'm gonna to have to probably come down to about there so I'm gonna go and cut this out and I'll be straight back right okay so we have gone and cut that out now taking your sentiment I'm just gonna cut that there and then taking the a triple banner punch we're just going to do the end of that like that and then bring in your card pieces put the inside piece on like that and then I'm going to put some Tombow down on your DSP I'm going to just put that over to the side a little bit and then taking some dimensionals them on the back like that and I'm going to put that over to the side like that and then we want two dimensionals on Oops. put that too far towards the end like that and then one there I'm just going to put that over now. I did kind of not do enough of the need to probably brought the stems up just a little bit on there, but it doesn't matter, it still works. And then I have a bow already cut out, cut out, I should say, already made. In fact, I'm just going to snip this a bit straighter because I didn't really cut that very straight, did I? So I'm just going to put a glue dot on the bow like that and we're going to pop that there and there you have it another gorgeous very quick and easy um, Daisy Delight card just love them love them love them love them absolutely gorgeous summary summary card so I hope you've enjoyed this very quick case card tutorial now I did forget to tell you who actually put this card on Pinterest it is a case card and it was put on by Beth Rush I don't think I said that at the beginning so um, thank you Beth for inspiring us with this card um, please like and subscribe thank you for watching take care bye bye